Hey there, good morning. Today is Saturday and I slept in late till 9 o'clock. I actually had to set my alarm for 9, which I don't normally do, but today I was like, I'll just set my alarm. Um, I woke up around 5 and that's when I turned the alarm on. Anyways, and that's what woke me up this morning, so it's a good thing I turned it on. It's quite warm out today. Here's Stitch. Stitch, are you keeping an eye on the outdoors? And he's enjoying the warmth. Yeah, it's like in the low 70s right now. It'll probably reach like the high 70s. So, um, this morning was really cute because my sister FaceTimed me at the same exact time. They were mixing together pancake mix and I was cooking pancakes on my little, you know, pancake griddle thing. And it was just so funny that we're making pancakes at the same time. And, oh, it makes me miss them so much, especially... You know, little Miss Mackenzie is just growing up so much, and her third birthday is coming up in February. Um, yeah, she's so cute, though. She's adorable with everything she says. So I've got some stuff that I want to take downtown to return over here. Some shoes that I didn't like that didn't, um, they were very uncomfy. And then these pajamas to Nordstrom, these pink pajamas. And then actually I also have this. Just keep it in a separate bag. For Sephora, I've got that Hourglass palette that um, has a lot of fat fallout. So anyways, just some returns that I've kind of been collecting and holding on to. So I'm going to hopefully go do that. Yeah, just do some returns. We'll see where else I go. Maybe I'll go get coffee at that French press place that I went to one time. The pricey place with a good coffee. I may go do that today. Um, we'll see. We'll see what I end up doing. Town now. I'm on Chapala Street, which I used to call Chalupa Street. <laughs> it is Chapala Street, though. And we've got Paseo Nuevo Shopping Center right over here. This is a Nordstrom. Oh, shoot. I should just... Which way should I go? Uh, I guess I'll go up there. I, I could have gone up to that other street to get into groceries. But anyways, um, just got some returns. I'm going to do things quickly. I was getting nervous. I always get nervous. <laughs> oh, it's so, so sunny out. Jeez. Quite sunny. Warm. There's a blind guy. Um, 75 out right now. Pretty, pretty warm. Oh, there's a Eureka Burger up here. California Pizza Kitchen places I never go to really. There's a Silver Greens. I love Silver Greens. Um, wow, not used to the 75 degree heat in January. <laughs> it's warm. Oh, I can't cross yet. Here's what the street signs look like if you're curious. Beep beep. Here I am going to Paseo Nuevo. Trying to get my shopping, well, returning on, not my shopping on, my returning on today. Guys, it's warm. 78 degrees. I don't know if you could see that. The light just turned green. 78 degrees outside, according to my car. What is going on? Why is it so warm? So I'm done with Nordstrom's, done with the Sephora. I was pretty quick there. I didn't look at anything. And now I'm going to go up to Anthropology. I was thinking about going to the Saks Fifth Avenue um, and looking at the Tom Ford lipsticks, but they're just so expensive. I can't see myself ever <sighs> buying them. Just too much money. I mean, 50 bucks, that's insane. Part of me wants to try one just to see, is it worth it? But um, I think Saks has a really bad return policy. They don't like to return stuff that's been tried, whereas Nordstrom as well. Almond butter, peanut butter. Got some tangerines 
can see Pink Lady Apple get her on tail. Take a guess where we're at. Some animal food. Getting a few things, not too much, just some like fruit. So I like their fruit. And then the peanut butter, and I need some bread too. Yum, yum, look at these treats. Cream brulee. Pumpkin cream brulee. Wow, that's a bit. Come on. Rose lemonade. Pretty expensive, but what the heck is this? Oh, butterscotch beer, non-alcohol. Oh my gosh, flying cauldron. Oh my gosh, it's Harry Potter inspired. I need this. I think you can buy just one at a time because the cream soda, like a lot of people just take one out. So I think you can buy them individually, which means I absolutely have to get a butterscotch beer by flying cauldron. I've never heard of this. This is really neato. Geez, they have so many options here. All these different sodas and snacks. <sighs> I think I'm going to get a four pack of the cream soda too. Because I already have some black cherry at home, but I like the cream soda too. But I just need to find a four pack. This is a kid's snack, which I feel like they're a bit lacking in. They don't even have any bunny gummies. There's no gummies. And kids love that stuff. I love it mainly. I like some of the snackimals though, the chocolate chip ones, those are really good. <laughs> I do buy some of the kids stuff here. <laughs> okay, well, time to check out and then go. I am back from my errands from running downtown to return things and going to Whole Foods. Um, I saw a stitch in the window when I was driving up the driveway and I rolled down my window and was like, hi baby, I'm home. <laughs> and he, you know, saw and heard me. So let me show you what I got at Whole Foods. Um, I got this four pack of cream soda. I just really like the flavor of these. They're tasty. And then I got Rudy's Honey Sweet Whole Bread. I was looking for one that I swear it was like nuts and seeds, something like that, where it had things on the top, but I couldn't find it. So I just bought that for my sandwiches. And then for milk, I've never tried this. I usually get milk at Trader Joe's, actually. I got the Clover Organic Farms 1% milk. And related to dairy items. I actually got a couple of brown cow yogurts, which they're my favorite yogurt. They're rich, they're tasty. I mean, I used to eat Yoplait every day in college, and this is like worlds beyond it. It is so tasty and really good. Um, so even if you're someone who doesn't really love yogurt that much, you should try it. And then I got one lemon twist with the cream top. So it has this kind of thicker layer up top, and then you mix it in. So cherry vanilla is my favorite, but I got that one too. Um, Else, else. Oops. Um, this is the thing I saw in store and was like, oh my god, Flying Cauldron Butterscotch Beer. I need to like watch Harry Potter, one of the movies, and drink that because that is just the coolest thing. And then, I haven't got this in a while, but I got the Cool Haas, um, one of those cookie witches. It's a chocolate chip cookie with a brown butter candied bacon ice cream, which I like. But they are pricey, so I don't get them very often. And then fruit, of course. They have the best fruit um, at Whole Foods, unless you're going to the farmer's market and know a good farmer. Um, anyways, I got the Pink Lady Apples. They were on sale, so I got four of those. And then two of these little baby, what do you call them? Clementines. Just little... Yeah, in there. I, I know they serve the paper bags you can put your fruit in, but I prefer these bags because I reuse them for kitty litter. So two clementines. And then the peanut butter. And this was the honey roasted peanut butter. Yum, yum. So I'll make some sandwiches with this. And there's that food, which I need to put away. And then once I got closer to home, I actually stopped at Starbucks and got a drink. And then I went to Los Agaves uh, and got a burrito. I had actually drove through Isla Vista. And Isla Vista is where all the college students live, and it's kind of gross and crowded. And it was way too much today. I was going to go to Freebirds to get either a burrito or nachos. The line was out the door. There was nowhere to park. It was chaos and really stressful. So I was like, nope, going somewhere else. 
Oh boy, this is what I got. It's called the Burrito Mojado, which is like a wet burrito, basically. I got it with beef. And it has Mexican rice, sour cream, guacamole, a little bit of pico de gallo. And it looks really good. <laughs> but I'm going to put my stuff away. And the chips, actually, are really popular there. Everybody loves their fresh chips that are always really good. And then they have a big salsa bar with all different types of salsa. I just get this super basic one, but some people like l go nuts with their salsa because they have so much. So anyways, I'm home now. Gonna put the groceries away, eat my lunch, and then chill out a bit. Hey there, good morning. It's Sunday and I've got a busy morning. I set my alarm for eight because I've got stuff to do today. So, um, yeah, this morning I need to finish up with cleaning, do another load of laundry, which I just started. Ooh, that reminds me. I need to set my timer on my cell phone. I've got my cell phone charging in the, the bathroom. Um, so I know to go back and check it in half an hour. Timer. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Okay, so I've got my cell phone timer set. Um, for the washing machine. Anyways, yeah, um, so yesterday afternoon, I didn't really do much. I was just on my laptop. I ended up taking a nap, and I felt really bad about being so, like, kind of lazy, you know? So in the evening, I did one load of laundry, um, vacuumed the apartment, hand washed some shirts, washed my makeup brushes, and hung up a curtain rod. I switched out the one in the bedroom. So last night I was like doing stuff and today I need to finish up with cleaning and do my second load of laundry and um, uh, I'm going to a friend's daughter's birthday party today which is really exciting. It's a neat thing to do on the weekend. So um, little baby girl Ariana turned two years old towards the beginning of the month but her birthday party is today. It's at my friend's house. And it's at noon, so I need to wrap her presents. I actually haven't wrapped them yet. But let me show you what I got her. So, Ariana's really into trains right now. So, I got her two gifts by Melissa and Doug. This one's actually ages three and up, but hopefully it'll be okay. This is just a little car carrier to go along with this theme. And let's see, this gift. I got these from Amazon, by the way. Um, it's a stacking train, and this is ages two and up, so should be good for her. She really loves her trains, and this will be good. Bright colors and different shapes and stuff. And then I've got a card for her from um, Papyrus, so I'm not sure how to wrap these because they're such kind of weird shapes. I may just stick them in the box and then wrap the box, but I don't know. I'm not quite sure what to do about that. So, anyways, I've got stuff to do around here this morning. Um, and then go to the party. All right, so I've got some wrapping paper. Um, I think I'm gonna wrap the two gifts separately instead of putting them in the big box. So I've got my pink one that says happy birthday, and then the white one which has little pink accents to it, little hearts and stuff. Stitch, don't scratch the couch. I see you. Leave the couch alone. Um, and then this is her little card from Papyrus. It's it's cute. It has a little um, lollipop and an actual stick here, like a popsicle stick. And on the inside it says, have a fun, happy, one-of-a-kind, fantastic birthday. Stitch, stop scratching. You're guilty. That's your guilty face. Oh, bad boy. Anyway, so I'm going to start wrapping these up. And um, uh, I still have the idea of makeup vlogs or tutorials on my mind, but my main concern is my camera because right now I use this Canon, I don't know what it's called, but it's like a point and shoot. It's a little one and it really can't zoom in. I doubt you could really read the words too well for the back of the papyrus card. So I think it'd be fun to try to do a makeup tutorial, even though I'm definitely not a pro, not at all. Um, I just, I feel like I don't have good, a good camera. You need to get like lighting equipment. I could probably still use my iMovie um, editing, you know. I just don't know what to do about the camera part because I've looked at like good cameras like the Canon Rebel 
it says Gannon. Anyways, it's the Rabble, and it's like $500. It's crazy expensive. So, just, you know, I've seen the comments about doing makeup tutorials, and I think that would be super awesome. But the logistics and the expense of getting a decent camera are kind of holding me back. <laughs> I'm hesitant to spend that much money on something. Um to have a decent camera, so I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to wrap these presents and, um, yep, get ready for the birthday party. Alright, so I am in the car, got that AC on because it's warm, and I've got the presents down here, and I pre-ordered a balloon bouquet at Ralph's. I tried to call Vons too, but, um, I think there was some issue with their phones. Anyways, I called Ralph's. I'm going to pick up a balloon bouquet. I decided to do pink and purple for those, I think you call them latex balloons. And then the Mylar, I think that's the name of the shiny big one. It's just going to say happy birthday and has a Hello Kitty on it. So, <laughs> um, I should have asked if they had one with trains or trucks. Shoot, she's into trains. She's really into trains. Dang it, I didn't think about that. I was just like a girly one. She's a little girl. She's turning two. Make me a balloon bouquet. <laughs> Behind me, it's got a butt ton of balloons trying to get next to me. So I got, I've got some purple, some pink. The Hello Kitty one is actually pretty small. I thought it would be big, but it's just a little one. Anyways, um, hopefully I don't have to reverse <laughs> parallel park when I get there because I can't see anything out of the back. Maybe I should have shoved them in the trunk. I don't know. It's 12.04. The party starts at 12. And I'm, I get stressed out because I always try to be on time to things. Um, so the fact that I'm like five minutes late because I'm about one minute away is stressing me out. <laughs> I need to chill out. Kids parties don't start right at noon. Sometimes it's like, you know. People show up a little bit after. But anyways, oh, can you see the Hello Kitty? And now I think you can see her. Um, the Hello Kitty's kind of small. Happy birthday to you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. One guy, he, his daughter's back in India with mom, and then there was this other family who I've met before at the rice bean ceremony, and now they have two kids. They have James and Paul, and I got to hold little Paul. <laughs> he's so young. He's four months old, and oh my God, I just <sighs> want to take him home and eat him up. He's got these beautiful blue eyes, and he seems pretty even-tempered. Um, yeah, a good little boy, and then... Um, James, he's like two and a half, so we were talking a bit, and he's cute, and little Miss Ariana, oh, she's so shy, she's really shy, she did start to come out of her shell a bit, but I think she has a hard time with attention from a lot of people, especially faces she doesn't necessarily see all that often, so, um, yeah, Ariana was pretty shy, and then at the end, actually, just maybe 15 or 20 minutes ago, a couple came up from Oxnard, and they had a two-month-old little girl. I didn't get to meet them. They were feeding her and then changing her diaper, so they came pretty late. Um, yeah, so all of us just ended up leaving right now, round two. Um, it was cute. I just, I love being around the kids and seeing my friend, and ah, all those little kids, they're just so fun, and there's so much activity and energy, and I love it. Just adore little kids. It makes me sad and makes me miss Mackenzie, of course. I, I definitely think about her when when I'm there around other kids. So, all right, well, maybe I'll get coffee as usual and go home and hang out for a bit. <laughs>